In this video, we're going to take you through an example of creating a new user and then logging in as that user and creating a complete WordPress site using Web Control Panel Lite. To view an introductory video on Web Control Panel Lite, please go to http colon forward slash forward slash za24.in forward slash vps forward slash intro. To log into Web Control Panel Lite, go to your domain forward slash webcp. Log in with your administrative password and then add the new user account. In this example, we have a user called Mike. Once the user has been added, we create the web account for Mike. Click on Domains, Add New Domain, and let's assume that Mike has ordered the domain name mike.com. Select the user from the drop-down and click on Add Domain. The domain name mike.com has now been assigned to user Mike. When user Mike goes to mike.com, there is a default web page set up. To set up a new WordPress site, the user needs to go to wordpress.org to download the latest version of WordPress. Once WordPress has been downloaded, unzip the WordPress zip file. We'll log out now as the administrator and log in as the user. WordPress requires a MySQL database. So the user can click on MySQL and then add a new database. We'll give the database the name WP. The complete name would be MikeSU underscore WP. The username will be UN and the password for this example will be pass. Create the database. Go back to the WordPress files and find the file wp-config-sample and rename that to wp-config.php simply by removing the dash sample. In a text editor, open the file and find the three settings db name, db user and db password. Change these settings so that they're the same as your control panel. That is DB name is Mike Sue underscore WP. DB username is Mike Sue underscore UN. And our password was pass. Save this file and then close it. In the next step, the user needs to upload the files to his server. To upload files, he needs to create an FTP account. Click on FTP and then click on Add New User. Select the domain name which you want to create an FTP account for and give it a username. We'll call this user FTP. And the password again will be pass. Click on Add FTP Account. Now open up your FTP software. We use FileZilla which is an open source FTP program. The host is the user's domain name, which is mike.com. The username is mike.com underscore FTP. And the password was pass. Click on connect. Once you've logged into your FTP account, you can delete the default file. Then select all the files in the WordPress folder and drag them into the FTP. You'll notice that there are a large number of files, and so the upload could take quite a while. When all of the files have been transferred to the server, the user can go back to their website. They'll now have the WordPress installation, and they can follow the prompts. Going back to the website after filling in the fields, reveals a fully working WordPress website. 